All right, we're gonna talk about making blog posts. Really, really, really simple and, and straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, just like the home page and other pages, we edit under certain sections. So pages obviously would be home page about contact, that kind of a thing. For posts, blog posts, we go in the post section. Makes sense, right? And we open that. And then what we'll see is the current posts that are listed on the website. Of course, right now, we've got some generic ones in there just to kind of show how everything works. Um, and go ahead and open this one so you can see and follow along. Um, that's this page, excuse me, this post right here. And we'll see this one's got a picture in it, and this one's kind of showing some bullet points. So what we've done is sh we've shown different things and functionality that you can actually do with your blog post, whether you do that or not, obviously, it's up to you. Um, but we'll start with working with this multiple paragraph post. So right now we have an image. All right, so how do we add an image and then also create this read more instead of it just all text like listed out? You know, of course you want someone to click, right? And then, um, you know, read more about your article, right? So let's go ahead and start with this multiple paragraph post. Okay, I'm, I'm in the post section on a multiple paragraph post. Here's your title of your post. Right, and if we look over on the right side, we'll see categories, and this is really important. This uncategorized category is default to WordPress. You cannot remove it. You can't delete it. You can't remove it. You can, of course, not use it, um, but by default, WordPress pops that in there, and you cannot get rid of it. Um, so what we want to do is add some categories. I'm not entirely familiar with your business, so I really don't know what you go by. But right now we're just going to use news. But if you want to add one, you click the add new category, and we can just put um, you know business. You know I'm not sure what you're going to use, and we click add new, and then boom, there it is. So right now I've added two categories for this particular post: business and news. I'll refresh it, and if I come back to the blog section, I'll refresh, and if I look over under category, I have business and I have news. So anytime you make a blog post and you tag those categories, business news, or you know whatever you particularly add for your website, um, as a reader, I'm, I can be like, oh, I want to read everything that's listed under news. And I'll click that, and it's going to show everything listed for that particular category. Um, that's the whole purpose of that. All right, and so since I've made a category that you probably are not going to use, how do we get rid of categories? Really easy. If you roll over... Scroll over to the left, you'll see categories. Click click that icon, and we'll go in there, and you can straight up come in here and just delete it. So business, I can click delete, gone. Okay. Let's get back to what we're doing. And so that's categories. You don't need to change really anything else. Standard, you don't have to mess with this other stuff. There's some extra stuff that WordPress puts in there. You're not going to need any of that. So just leave it as, as it is, standard. Okay, so how do we how do we drop an image in here? Super easy. What I'll do is I'll enter down, I'll enter. I'll make sure I put my you know basically my uh, my mouse pointer, my clicker, my whatever you want to call this thing. Um, we're in here now. I'll click Add Media. And I'll find an image I want to use. So let's see. This one's too small. We need the we need a good size image that's gonna fit in there. So we'll try that one. Now I'll just do insert in the post. This will fill out. We'll update. And now what I'll get is the image in there. Boom. Bingo boingo, right? There's the image and then there's the text. Well, now it's too much text. I just want a brief inter you know, introduction and then for them to read more. So how are we going to do that? Pretty easy. We're going to insert or read more right below where we want it. So I just want them to just to read this introduction and then click to read the rest of the article. If we roll up here, you'll see right here it says insert read more tag. Um, I have no idea. Uh, this came out recently with the most um, most recent update from WordPress. This It says read, uh, read more a bunch of times. I've been trying to work on fixing that. I have no idea. Something with something default to WordPress. I have no idea where that's from or why that's there. Um, hopefully with an update, they'll take care of that. But anyways, insert that read more. 
and then we're good to go. Let's go ahead and update. And if we come back here to the blog, there we are. Read more. If I click it, now I get the full article. Um, what we see also here is comments. I strongly recommend you remove comments. I strongly recommend it. Um, they're a thing of the past. The only thing they're good for is people spamming you. I know from experience. So what you'd want to do when you make your blog post is you'll see this discussion box. And you just uncheck that. I would also uncheck this. And then save it, of course. And then what's going to happen now is um, comments are closed. Okay, they can't make comments. And you can ignore this. I'm logged in, so that's why you're seeing some of this stuff right here. I'm logged in as an admin. Okay. Um, that's really it. The blog, you can do, you know, you can do it because it's an editor, an actual visual editor. Like you have your, like your um, email or your Word document. So you want to bold stuff, you can do that. You can insert hyperlinks. Other little fun things you can kind of do is you know to spice up your blog post. Um, one last thing, you can actually change the date that it was published. So right now we see it was two, you know, February 18. Uh, maybe I want to change that. So what I do is hit edit. And we'll just do April. What's today? 18. 18. Let's do 17. Update that. And then what's going to happen, WordPress basically works on a timestamp. So newest to oldest. So right now we'll see it's published on 417. And as we start looking um, through your blog post, it's going to go from newest to oldest. We'll see 417 and then so forth and so forth. Um, you can also delay your post. So maybe you're, you're going on vacation. You don't want to launch your blog post now, but you want to launch it in three days. When you create a new blog post, over here is a schedule. It doesn't say it now because we've already posted this, but there'll be the same thing right here. You can actually schedule a future date, um, and it'll automatically post on its own once that time um, comes. Okay, that'll do it for the blog.